Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out my video. Today we're going to be talking about the best items to give to newer players or just stuff to leave in the donation box outside of Vault 76. I got this question on my stream today, I thought it was a great idea for a video, so yeah, let's get into it here. Okay, so if you are unaware, there is a donation box out of Vault 70, or just outside of Vault 76 now, that you can pretty much put anything into now. And it's meant for lower level players that are just starting the game, so they can maybe get a tiny little bit of an advantage for is what I, my opinion, is a bit of a hard start in a video game. Um, if you got friends, of course, this game's easier to start, but if you've never played this game and you don't have any friends to help you, this donation box can really make the difference. So other than stim packs and rat away, I wanted to, you know, maybe touch upon some good stuff to give to newer players. So one of those things being is a level one baseball bat. And you can put the heated coil on this and it just does insane damage for a level one baseball bat. I was actually surprised the damage this did. I was like, okay, you know what? Let's just test this. So I took this level one bat and went and fought level 50 scorched. And I was like one hitting them. Now, of course I do have some perks on and whatnot. I am a higher level. But even then, you know, like a low level is going to be fighting low level Scorched. Like they're going to one and two hit Scorched with this weapon. I think it's absolutely great. And it, I would make as many of these as you can. It's just putting on one mod and then drop them in the donation box if you can. As you can see, that was all from a level one, which I thought was kind of hilarious. Okay, another good weapon I think to throw in the donation box is a hunting rifle. Of course, with all the fixins on it, and if you're going to be putting these weapons in the donation box, just a suggestion, I would recommend throwing in ammo with them as well. So you can see I had the 50 cal receiver on this, so I would put some 50 cal ammo in the donation box. Um, and the same thing with the fixer here, another great weapon to put into the donation box. It's extremely overpowered at level 30 when you get this. Just don't forget to put some 45s in there for somebody. Um, another good weapon to throw in there too is the Tesla rifle. I just get the level 40 and make four or five of them and throw them in there with some fusion cells. It really helps newer players tag enemies at events to help rank up faster. Um, a fire axe with the fire axe spikes on it here. Yeah, absolutely insane damage for a level five weapon. And the good thing about melee weapons is that they won't even need ammo for them. So great weapon to throw in there. Um, a bunch of like hats or masks maybe that you could give them. Maybe you got some old, you know, uh, uncommon type of uh, or less rare finash masks or fast snack masks you want to throw in there is probably a good idea. I'm going to get into that a little bit later in the video here and show you what I threw in there. You might be surprised what you can throw in there. Um, of course, a flannel shirt and jeans with the shield at lining if you can. Very good to help ranking up. And my pick for armor is I'll usually do maybe like a level 20 to 50 uh, heavy combat armor, put the Brotherhood of Steel mod on it with deep pocket it. Um, of course, lighter build would probably be good for AP as well or ultralight build. Um, either way, you know, you, you need carry weight and you need more AP as a beginner player. So either of those ones would work. But I would also, if you can, throw a level one heavy leather armor in there and just make it all studded if you can. Maybe the ultra light build on it or deep pocket it, whatever your preference really. This is a very good set of armor that a beginner player could have. Completely overpowered. And again, like I was saying, when you are considering putting weapons in the donation box, don't forget to throw ammo in there, which I kind of forgot to do when I threw that stuff in the box. <laughs> or as you're going to see here, I forget to throw the ammo in. But we got, let's just see what we got to throw in here. So we threw in five all-star heated baseball bats. I actually kept one so I could go test it like I did earlier on in the video. Um, what else did we throw in? The puncturing fire axe, a refined 50 cal hunting rifle. Five Tesla rifles. These are all going to be extremely useful weapons for a beginner. And the Fixer too, if I didn't say that as well. I think I might have. And, you know, the Nocturnal Bear Arm I just accidentally threw in there, but, you know, just leave it in there. Big deal. And, of course, the Brotherhood of Steel Deep Pocketed Combat Armor or the Ultralight and the Deep Pocketed Studded Heavy Leather Armor. 
Um, another good thing too is if you can put some power armor chassis without armor on it outside of the vault, that is one of the best armors you can have as a beginner player is power armor, but don't forget to throw some fusion cores in there for them as well. Um, these were the type of apparel or mask that I could throw in here. I'm sure there's some other stuff. Let me know in the comments, of course, if there's anything that I missed in this video that you think is a great idea to throw in the donation box. Just wanted to throw some random stuff in here. Even the shield at Brotherhood Night Suit I think was a great idea to throw in there for beginner players. Um, of course, stim packs and Rataway, some purified water. Um, you know, pretty much anything. I even threw in some serums. Maybe not a bad idea. Unfortunately, once they use Rataway, they're probably going to be gone. I wish you could throw starch jeans in there. That would be pretty cool. But unfortunately, you can't. But people do throw serums in there, but just keep that in mind. They probably won't last, to be honest. But, you know, they'll be jumping around for a bit and it'll be funny. And, of course, concrete scrap, loose screws... Um, I heard are one of the more sought out things after if you're a beginner. I could definitely say screws are. And of course, ammo. All this stuff helps out um, beginner players. And I'm sure, you know, they all appreciate it. And I really see a lot of comments of people paying it forward after they've been gifted stuff outside of the vault. So let's, let's keep this up, everybody. Let's keep gifting, you know, the new players and helping them out as much as they can. And I'm sure they'll pay it forward. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else you would like to add to this. And thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have a great night.